Okay everyone, so if you ever wanted to take a screenshot on your iPad, you have a few options and actually you have many of them, so I'm gonna show you all the options. So you, you essentially have to take a screenshot on your iPad. So the first and the most basic way is to take a screenshot on your iPad is by using the physical buttons. If your iPad has a home button, you simply press the home button and the power button at the same time. If your iPad doesn't have a home button, press the volume up button and the power button at the same time. It's as simple as that. But of course, this isn't the only way to capture your screenshot. So let's just see some other options. If you have Apple Pencil, for example, you can take a screenshot by dragging the pencil from one corner of the screen. This is a very quick and easy way to snap screenshot without needing to use any buttons. Next, if you use a keyboard with your iPad, whether it's the Apple's Magic Keyboard or any third-party keyboard really, you can use the keyboard shortcut Command plus Shift plus 3 to take a screenshot. If you press Command Shift 4, it will immediately bring you to the editing page where you can crop and adjust your screenshot before saving it. Another great option is to use assistive touch, often referred to as the so-called floating home button, but to set this up, you go to the settings app, then tap on accessibility and then a touch. And finally, there is the assistive touch. Once you turn it on, you can customize the menu to include a screenshot option, making it super easy to take a screenshot with just a tap or two. You can also ask Siri to take screenshots for you, just activate it by the voice command or use the home button to get there and just tell her to take a screenshot. This can be particularly handy if you don't want to fiddle with the buttons or menus. Lastly, you can use the Shortcuts app to create a custom automation or shortcut for a taken screenshot. This can be a bit more involved to set up, but once you have it configured, you can add the shortcut to your home screen and take a screenshot with just one tap. And there you have it. These are several different ways to take a screenshot on your iPad. No matter which way you prefer, I'm pretty sure you're gonna find the one that you like. If you have found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Foxtech for more tech tips and tutorials. Thank you for watching.